Hello everybody. Welcome to the Twisted Beanstalk. I'm going to put a wig on a nice view. Jeez. Uh, I'm going to put a wig on a toddler for you guys. I do get this question asked quite a bit. So about how I put the wigs on and everything. So okay, here we go. So this is, uh, what's her name? I forget, what, I forget what her name is already. I'm sorry, little one. I'm sorry I forgot your name. But uh, here she is. Isn't she cute? She's huge too, you guys. She's a Ping Lao uh, sculpt. And, um, oh, what is her name? I forget, but I'll find it and I'll put the link down below for you guys. So what I like to do at first is, I, well, okay, first let me say that there's different ways of doing it. Everybody does it differently. Um, I probably definitely do it backwards because that's just how I am in life. Backwards. <laughs> but this is how I personally like to get this done. I use my legs because I find that that is the easiest when I'm putting it on. And I do like to, um, where's my... Yeah. I don't know where my elastics are. Where the hell did I put them? I'll just do it this way. So I actually like to start with the top and do it in uh, in kind of sessions. That's for not. I mean, cause like you want to put it on there properly and you don't you want to make sure that it's nice and snug and you don't get glue all over everything so <laughs> this is kind of like awkward having her like this but whatever this is actually how I put them on so I'm just gonna put her hair up and out of the way her bangs this kid is so cute it's so cute with this hair too okay so um, wigs do come pretty big so I like to either um, sew them or safety pin them at the neck uh, I just feel like that way after everything is said and done it fits them really good so I'm just gonna go ahead and undo this. Oh my gosh, I didn't even get my glue ready. What a fail I am. <gasps> so I do like to use this glue, even though um, it does have a pretty harsh smell, so you wanna be careful, and you wanna be in a well-ventilated room because it does have quite a strong odor. Um, so I just find that this glue really catches like the around here the best like it really secures it in place before I start and it dries really quick so so I'm just gonna go ahead and fold it up like so okay let me see here you have make sure you have it in a good area where it doesn't dry out either because that freaking I hate when that happens that happens to me a lot so I'm just gonna put this along here and then I use a popsicle stick just to spread it out a little bit and by the ear around the forehead Whew. And then I just flip this back and this is the this is the front so I feel like once that is like put on it's pretty secure so let me see here I also find that when their heads are weighted it's a lot easier hers isn't because she's ball jointed it's like super strange I'm not really sure why it's like that but so that part is glued. Oh yeah. 
you're glued and then the back I like to fold up like this <laughs> to be quick So I'm just going to do like the middle first. Okay. Like so. And then roll it back over. Just put my finger in the glue. <clears throat> okay, so once this is on, you wanna you wanna press it down pretty good. And then you can go back once the back is done, then um, you can go back and do like around the neck and so when it's like this I do like to stick something snug over it whoa this has mohair all over it what the heck hat so I am just gonna go ahead and put a hat on her just to keep it nice and snug so the glue clamps down And then after this is dry, then I'll go back and do like the very, the very back of the, very back of the head. Just like that, boom, done. So anyways, that's what I do for putting on the toddler wigs. That's the glue I like to use, and here she is. Hi. <laughs> She's so cute. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching, and uh, stay tuned for some sculpting of vampire teeth in a mouth. Whoop, whoop. Bye.